<laughs> a snowball fight offers a few moments of escape for a family still deeply grieving. Isaac was my wife. <laughs> Kiwi Carvajalis was Isaac Ruiz's fiance. She's the mother of the 37-year-old's three adoring children. Three children now without a dad because a gunman took him away. And he was stolen from us. It was last May 15th, a sunny spring day here at Bellingham's Lake Padden Park. Isaac was here hanging out with friends when his family says he heard gunshots and ran to investigate. That's when he was shot and killed. It, it just like it wasn't true. It can't be true. Not Isaac. Not Isaac. Details surrounding the shooting are sparse, but the family doesn't think Isaac was targeted. Police believe there are witnesses to the killing who haven't come forward. Isaac's family pleads with anyone who was at Lake Padden last May 15th to come forward. Even a random photograph or video could have important information, information that can help this family heal. The pain that I feel today is just as raw as the day it happened. It's the same for everyone especially the kids. They're just not the same since their dad died, especially the little one. For the first four months, I listened to my daughter ask me when she was going to, when she was going to be able to go to heaven because she wanted to see her dad. And nobody, no parent should have to hear their five or six year old say that. His words are. For now, Kiwi finds comfort in the last words she ever received from Isaac just before he was killed at the park always thinking about his family. Well, I found a cool spot where we can bring the rug wrap. <laughs> it's those children who are driving the family's mission to bring justice for Isaac Ruiz, making angels in the snow and longing for a father they hope to visit in heaven. We won't stop. We won't stop. None of us. Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.